How to run gear with Moy. Today we're gonna talk about dualies, dual axle trucks. How we're gonna drive them. Pretty simple. Check the oil. Already done. Do that with all heavy equipment. Make sure the oil is up on the stick. Jump up in the truck. And it's just a typical, most are typical standards. They have automatics now, but they're not as common. And these are all the basic controls. They look like a lot of controls when you first jump in the truck, but it's pretty simple. So what do you do? Well, you start the truck. In order to start the truck, it's a standard. It's just like any standard. Yeah. Push the clutch in, you turn the key on. That's it, you go. Now, how do you go? This is a stick shift. This, this stick shift's a little different than cars and stuff. It's got a button in front. The button you flip up, you push down. When it's down, you get your lower gears. When it's up, you get your upper gears. Now, what are the gears? Well, if you look up in most tandems, you'll see a pattern. And that pattern is the gear pattern. So in the lower range, with the shifter down, you get these gears. You get first and second and third and fourth. And then when you go into neutral after fourth gear, you pull that lever up, this lever here, and then you can get the high ranges in the same place. So instead of getting first gear, you get fifth gear. And then you go into, instead of second, you get sixth. And instead of third, you get seventh. Instead of fourth, you get eighth gear. And that's the way it works. It works the same for the reverses. You also have on most dump trucks, what's called a low range. That's this thing. Okay, if you're in a pit somewhere, you need a really what they call bull low, really lots of torque. You flip this up and that shifts your transmission into bull low, into a low, low range. And you use the same speeds first, second, third, and fourth. It's just in a really, really low range. So how do you start the truck? Well, it's pretty simple. You push in the clutch, turn the key, just like a regular vehicle. One difference, one thing you have to look for in a tandem, is you have to make sure anything with air brakes, you have to make sure your air is up. It has to be over, in this case, 400 uh, kilopascals. But uh, um, it varies depending on the vehicle. If the air pressure goes into the red, it will lock your brakes on. The truck won't be able to move. So, the emergency brake is on. Push the emergency brake off. Go to your shifter, right here. Into, look, it won't go in. Oh, it did go in, shoot. If it don't go in, the gear, all you do, you double clutch. There you are, into reverse. You hear the beeper coming on, so you know you're in reverse. And that's it. That's how you drive a dump truck. Same old, same old. Here I am. Uh, here I am. I'm backed in and I'm being loaded. You see, I backed up to a machine behind me. The machine is starting to load me. So as soon as I back up, I take my foot off of the brake. Those are air brakes. You know, I'm using up air. Pull on your emergency brake. Take your foot off the brake and that's it. Just sit here in neutral and just relax until you're loaded up. Pull it away after you're loaded. Put her in the gear, first gear. takeoff there's another shaft coming out the transmission that runs a hydraulic pump to run your box or whatever your boom whatever you have on the on the dually on the truck you push in your clutch in neutral engage your pto now the pto is engaged <clears throat> you open up your tailgate some trucks have it here some trucks have the lock on the side of the box the older model was the lock on the side of the box 
newer model they have the tailgate latch here pull up the tailgate latch this lever here lift it starts putting hydraulic oil into the box and if you see the box behind us box is going up And dumped out. So you pull, what I do is I pull it pull it forward a little, it locks, as soon as you hit, as soon as you hit the top of the piston. Okay, you don't want to put excess pressure on the top of the piston. Now you pull away. Just put the truck in first gear. Pull away a little. Usually I do it until I hear the tailgate. And you drop the box. Pull it forward. Box. See the box going down. The box is all the way down. Lock your tailgate. You're ready to start it all over again. So here I am, I'm stuck truck won't pull out I'm after dumping so what do I do so I go over here clutch in neutral flip up the differential lock you'll see the differential lock light up on the dash put it in below so I'm in below now put it in gear first gear it walks out like nothing here the tailgate Drop the bucket up, or drop the box all the way down. Box drops. Wait till it gets all the way down. Down all the way, lock the tailgate. That's it. Now I can take it out of bull low. Shift my differential lock off, and that's it. Same old, same old. Here we are at an 18 speed. So if you look at the gears here, it's not no gears above us in an 18 speed. The gears are on the shifter. So if you look here, how we get 18 gears. You start out with this in low, the shift on the front, down low. And you start out in first gear. Bang, you're in first gear. And you clutch and you push this forward gives you the high range in first gear and when you're up to speed again usually about 400 rpm is where i shift you clutch bring this out pull it down put it into second gear then oh i'm loading something in the back here then you shift this up again you clutch shift this up that gives you the high range in second gear to get to the third speed pull this clutch pull this down into third gear come up to your rpm up to speed flick this up gives you your high range in third gear and of course flip this down into fourth gear revs come up flip that up to give you your high range in fourth gear then when you're when you reach maximum rpm high range fourth gear Shift this down, lift up your splitter, you go into your high range, then you're in the fifth gear, low, clutch in, fifth gear high. Revs, come back into sixth gear, sixth gear low is where you start, then sixth gear high, then low, seventh gear low, seventh, eighth gear, or, sorry, seventh gear low, seventh gear high, Clutch in, eighth gear low, eighth gear high, you're at maximum, then you're at maximum. And that's how an 18 speed works.